Well, you are looking at a beautiful work of art by Susan Jeffcott, who is joining me now here from the Arbor Gallery in Van Cleek Hill. So Susan, maybe just talk a bit about your work of art, because it's quite abstract painting. Is that what it would be defined as? Uh, not really abstract, no? because it's figurative. Figurative, okay. But it's based on a dream, so it's surrealistic. Surrealistic. Or Yes. So this is how you get your subjects for your painting, is, is from dreams that you have? A lot of the time, yes, or just I um, see something in the street or on my morning walk, yeah. and it just something clicks and it speaks to me. But a lot of it comes from dreams. And talk about this work that you're working on right now. Does it have a name for it, or is it this is part of your dream, or is this something I you saw in a walk? I haven't really got a name for it, but it okay. was a dream I had that I was observing this very, very pale girl with black, black hair, mm -hmm. and she was in a park, but mm -hmm. it was a frog park, and it had oh. giant frogs that were tame. Interesting. So that's basically the dream, but the colors were very intense and saturated. And so then you just bring it together and put it on canvas? I just start, yeah. You just start? And do you draw this out first, or you just go right with the paintbrush? In this case, I drew it out first. The ba the this yeah, I drew it the out outline. first. Yeah, mm -hmm. just very simply. Yeah. And talk about how you go about painting, because you're explaining it. It's quite detailed in how you add the color on the canvas. I block in the main color, um, you know, that I that I felt that I saw in my dream. In this case, they were very saturated. So like for the horse, mm -hmm. I painted the horse gray first, okay. and then I cross-hatched on top with a very fine paintbrush with white. Okay. But I had to do that maybe th two times wow. because the white was quite transparent. I don't have the, an opaque white. But I drew it in with a, using a red, red. Yep. then painted it black, and then cross-hatched on top with the white. Beautiful, it's quite detailed, especially up close. You really get to see all those little intricate colors. Now talk a bit about how long you've been painting for. Oh geez, since I was 12 years old, so I'm 74, so, so that's a long time. So very long time. <laughs> <laughs> and has your art form changed over the years? Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to, uh, oh, many years, uh, I was of course very realistic, and mm -hmm. then I went from realistic to more impressionistic, then I was abstract, I was totally abstract. Okay. And now I've come, become more real, more but real surreal. Again. Surreal. Very because, you know, you just work from your brain, you know, you just work from your gut. That's, you don't it, think. You don't think, you just go to canvas. So what are you right. working on right now? Because you said you were just working on part of a dress. Well, this is the girl's dress. Okay. And so I have put in one shade of green yeah. underneath, which was an emerald green, and then here is a green, permanent light green. Okay. And now I'm putting on top brilliant yellow green. Yellow green, okay. So that you can feel them when you paint it in, you feel the other colors through oh, wow. and it gives it a kind of uh, so how long magic. Would, it's beautiful. How long would a painting like this take? <laughs> Dare I ask? Uh, <laughs> well, it depends on how many interruptions in the day, but yeah. it would take maybe three or four weeks, maybe wow. longer, depends. Or maybe I get to a point where I don't know where it's at, and yeah. I put it aside and do some housework, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming out this morning and uh, taking time from away from your painting to come here and explain your works of art for us. And you'll, of course, be on display here. And uh, when we come back, we're actually going to check in with another artist and look at some tin, I believe, copper, pardon me, copper works of art. So stay with us last morning to come here from the Arbor Gallery on CTV Morning Live.